Hello my friends, this is one Mark 50. My name is Mark and today we build this. You might have one of these in one of your drawers or in a box. That is just an old power supply for a PC. And the problem with this is I can't use it anymore because the cables and the connectors for the hard disks and for the PCs change every couple of years. Even though the power supply as such is perfectly working and it gives me exactly the voltages I would need to build microcontroller and Raspberry Pi things and in general digital electronics, that is 3.3, 5 and 12 volts. However, just putting it in a box and connecting some cables to it didn't seem fancy enough to me. So I really wanted to have an eye catcher. And secondly, I thought, what is the most difficult thing with fixed voltage supplies to do? And that is actually measuring current. Because if I just use a multimeter and I put it in a row with my device, the voltage will drop. And I would have to have a higher voltage or I would have to use a power supply that I can actually regulate. So I thought, why not put all this together and um, reuse that power supply, make it an eye catcher and make it able to measure current. And here's the project. The way the software works is that you can see the bar graph display that actually seems to float from the right to the left and you can see the voltages and the power consumption. And now the way I designed this is I use this middle button, this blue button as a mode button. You can see at the bottom of the screen you can select the scale, the speed and the resolution. So let me just actually change the scale. That means the bars become higher or lower, meaning if you have very low currents in the milliamps, then you can go to a, a higher scale. Now you can also change the resolution. That means you get more or fewer bars, meaning if you're doing measurements over longer times, for example, then you're just adding additional bars. Now let me just show you what it does when I change the speed. Let me just reduce this and actually if I change the speed obviously the whole thing goes slower. Now let's just uh, try this out and um, you can see I always have consumption on the 5 volts because I, uh, I hooked uh, the Arduino um, up to the 5 volt supply behind the um, the current, the whole sensor. I should have hooked it up before, but hey, so what? <laughs> now let me just use this uh, motor and uh, hook it up to 12 volts and let me actually just put some load on it so that it um, shows some milliamps. Here we go, we are pulling roughly 500 milliamps when the motor gets load. Now one possible application of this obviously is when you are doing projects with ESP microcontrollers and uh, you want to see how the power consumption goes when the Wi-Fi is switched on etc. And uh, that can give you very valuable insight. The key component of this project is the ACS712. That is just a Hall effect current sensor. And the nice thing is that you can buy it as ready made modules which are really really nice to use for Arduino projects. Now the way this thing works is you just put it in line with the power supply. This can be seen on the right side here and it then produces a 0 to 5 volt analog output. 2.5 volt meaning 0 amps and uh, voltage below meaning that you have negative current. What do we need to build it? We don't need much. We need three of these ACS712 modules. We need an Arduino Nano. We need a TFT display and we need three push buttons. Also we do need some source code. Obviously uh, the good thing is I have already written that for you so you can go to my github and uh, if you go to episode 8 you will find the description of the episode. Just open the file bargraphatx.ino. Now don't worry, you don't have to read everything here in detail. I just want to quickly walk through the code. Basically all the pinouts for the display and the number of the bars and the delays and, and which, car, which um, voltages and which pins are connected to analog and digital. I defined all these in the header so you can change it and you can adapt it to your product, uh, to your project, sorry. So I also try to make the code very, very schoolish, meaning 
I have not tried to optimize the number of lines, but to really be explanatory in the code. And I used the variable names that are talking and also I added a lot of comments describing the screen layout and the options you can set, etc. So it should be really, really easy to actually adapt that code to your, to your needs. As you can see, there are variables that are really talking like op mode speed, op mode scale, obviously. And uh, the routines themselves have very speaking names. So here's how to wire the whole thing. I have uh, also included on my GitHub uh, an Eagle project. Eagle is a great software to do schematic um, electronic layouts. Here are all the connections. You can see we don't need much. It's just the buttons and a connector for the display. I have also routed uh, a printed circuit board. Um, this is a, a two-side layout, but I'm only using a one-side layout and I bridged the three or four connections uh, that are needed. So feel free to use this. Now, with regards to the case, I'm not going to tell you much about how to put it into a case and which case, because it really depends on the size of your power supply and it also depends on how you want to make it, what you want to make it look like, etc. Just uh, as you can see, I put some four millimeter connectors to the side of uh, a plastic box and I stuffed everything into the front. And here's the front view, which you have already seen. So I'm, I'm sure you figure that one out. And there is a lot of videos on YouTube and there is a lot of articles describing on how to operate ATX uh, power supplies and, and how to switch them on and off, etc. So I leave that entirely up to you. Maybe you can even use that and pimp an existing one if you already own one. The main differentiator for this project is definitely the TFT display and the software. So this concludes today's project on building a fixed voltage power supply with a bar graph TFT display for power consumption, for current consumption. I hope you liked it. If you're trying to build one, let me know. If you're running into issues, contact me on Reddit and I will try to help you on, on getting it done. Otherwise, if you like the video, please do subscribe. And um, with that, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.